Hello everyone, Papito208 here showing you a better and easier way to gain Golden Rogue Legacy. Now, all credit goes to Shin Yagami13 from PlayStationTrophies.org who found this method in the first place. Now, the previous method to farm gold would be to clear out a bonus room which is indicated by the purple question mark on the minimap and clear out the room and basically destroy all the destructible items in the room. And what you would do is you would quit to the title screen, go back to the room, and basically all the destructible items would respawn. Now, the best way to actually use this method would be to go all around the minimap as much as you can, uh, making sure that you're not dying, of course. And as soon as you find as many bonus rooms as possible, you clear out all the destructibles, quit to the title screen, and go back to the room because they'll respawn. Now, depending on your luck, you may get a bunch of coins or depend, like as you can see here, you're going to see that I'm destroying a bunch of things, but I'm not gaining as much gold as possible. So it's in some ways a definite way for you to gain more gold than possible, especially if you're going towards the Ethanatophobia trophy. But the best way that's available right now is, as I said before, found by Shin Yigami 13 and it's going to show you right now by switching my character here. And before continuing, there's nothing wrong with the video. It's just that my hero is colorblind. Anywho, so basically this method, what you do is you explore the castle until you find yourself a bonus room with the mini games that allow you to throw knives to 10 targets. And as soon as you hit the target, you basically gain the value that's awarded to you on the screen. So it starts off with a value of 10 and maximum uh, value of 80 since there are, I believe, eight targets. So what you do here is you hit as many targets as you can, but the key thing is to not use up all your knives or make sure you leave one target standing. The reason being is that since this is a bonus room, this allows you to quit to the title screen and come right back into the room so you can restart the game and gain more loot as possible. Now, depending on your skill, you can gain from 10 gold to 280 gold um, as you hit all seven targets. Now, and with the barrels that you just see me hit, you have the opportunity to gain 30 gold. So in total, you have the opportunity to gain 40 to 310 gold per run. And as you can see, it's very fast. I was fortunate enough to gain uh, access to one of these mini game rooms right near the beginning so all i have to do as soon as i hit the targets as long as i stop missing them is quit to the title screen and go back now what's the whole purpose of farming for gold well basically as you know the more gold you got then of course the more you can upgrade your character and with the thanatophobia trophy the whole purpose is uh, well to gain the thanatophobia trophy you have to go through the game without using an architect and complete it by dying 15 times or less and of course, as challenging as this game is, you want to take advantage of either as many glitches or as many methods as possible to make the game easier on you, especially if you already ran through all the remixed bosses and such, and the only trophy you have left is this one. So as you can see, this is what my third attempt now, and I'm about to gain another 280 or 300 gold coins. And you can keep farming as much as you want. Um, you can also cross save to the Vita so that you can play along where, whenever, or farm wherever you like, whether you're in the pooper, at work, or out and about, or just in the waiting room, it doesn't matter. Um, as far as when to stop, it's really dependent on you. It's on, based off personal preference. I personally believe that you gain as much gold as you can or until you're tired of farming and try to find yourself the cheapskate elf, which as you know, what you do is you donate 25% of the current gold that you have for a one in three chance of tripling that amount. And I think if you put more points into has, how much bounty you can gain, you can actually capitalize and get more than triple the amount that you donated. So the only thing I would suggest though is make sure to find the nerdy glasses to make sure that you can see which chest exactly has the gold. So that's all there is today. Again, all credit goes to Shin Yagami 13 for finding this method. Hope this helps you all out. Papito208, signing off.